something else that you said. You said the government, they have nothing, everything they get and they want to give to someone else, they have to steal it from somebody. That's called taxation. Is taxation theft in your mind? Yes, it is. It has to steal from a productive individual and give it to somebody else. So, it, it, it uh, is yeah. theft. Our Constitution is very restrictive in what the federal government should do. Fortunately for me, uh, though what I do is controversial to a large degree, uh, I can use the argument of the Constitution. Our Constitution is very small and it's very, uh, very straightforward. And uh, there's uh, the doctrine of enumerated powers gives uh, the Congress 18 things they're allowed to do. Today we do 1,800, if not 18,000 things that we shouldn't be doing. But in the United States, there's still a lot of respect for the Constitution. So if you say, well, I voted against the flood insurance, and uh, I realize the difficulty that you might have because you don't immediately have that, but I'm following my pledge, my oath of office, to obey the Constitution. I believe in the rule of law, and therefore I am not going to vote uh, for that. They will give you enough respect and give you a pass on that. That is easier than if you would vote against it and you had this authority. If you had only voted against it, say, for economic reasons, it would be different. Uh, they have a little more difficulty in understanding uh, the, the economics of, of it all. The federal government and, and you know, um, coercion and all this stuff, using force, and, and you emphasize individual responsibility and, and freedom. So, and I know you, you stand for the Constitution, but what do you say to people who advocate for self-government rather than a return to the Constitution, just like that? Great. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. And uh, I think that's really what my, uh, my, my goal is. Isn't it interesting that if, if you have a government, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, will, they will want us all to be socialistic and use us, but they will never allow an enclave go and become libertarian and just accept nothing, receive nothing, accept no obligations. But, uh, you know, if we have a libertarian society, uh, we have no qualms. I mean, if a group of people want to go over and, and, and run things socialistic, like mm -hmm. you've had some of these in our early history. I mean, they, they literally lived as socialist uh, enclaves, and as long as they didn't have to live off us. I mean, even today, uh, the people, the, the Amish and other like that, they'd like to be left alone, right. and uh, they should never be required to, you know, be paying social security or income tax, but it, it's uh, so libertarianism is much more tolerant than, than socialism. Socialism has to live on those it produce, right. and that's why they have to use coercion. That's right. So you've described yourself as a voluntarist. Can you tell us what that means for the big picture and what your ideal society would be as a voluntarist? Voluntary means no coercion. So if you want to change people's habits or change the world, you should do it by setting examples and trying to persuade people to do it. You can use force only when somebody uses force against you. So voluntary uh, use of uh, information and, and persuading people, I think, is the best way to go, and no matter what, what kind of problem you're looking at.